Okay everybody and welcome to Camtasia Studio 8 HD rendering settings. And this is how to get the best quality for your videos and it usually works if you're have Xbox 360 or PS3 gameplay if you're using an HD capture card or if you have a low capture card like an easy cap or dazzle but it also works if you do Game Boy Advance videos perfectly and it enhances them as well so that's what I'm going to show you today so basically I've got my Game Boy Advance clip and it does work the same with any other clip you're going to do so it doesn't have to be Game Boy Advance, it'll be any sort of one and I'm just going to use one frame. What I do with all my videos, I'll show you in the last one. Just stretching it out right here. To find out more about this, you can view my other tutorial that I have on my channel. Now, when I go to produce and share right here, you have a variety of things. And it's not like Camtasia Studio 7 with more things, they have MP4. But you can create your own producer's production settings. I create one there, but I want to go. You want to go to add or edit presets. When you click on that one, you come to a new bit of this. You want to click the new button there. Now you can call this HD test. That's why I'm calling it because I've already got one. And out of all these here, I always click AVI because it comes out much more better. People pick QuickTime Movie or MP4. The reason why I don't pick any of the rest is because they're just awful. Now that one does work well with the HTTP VR, the QuickTime and Flash as well using the HTTP VR. but if you're using an Xbox you can go with QuickTime but if you're on your computer and you're PC games choose AVI and AVI is most frequently used with other software like Sony Vegas and all this other stuff so I would say use AVI like I do and um, you just have to put the description wherever and you want to click next now you want to keep it automatic the video compression and all that because you can go on video compression and just choose which one, but I'm going to choose a standard one that it comes with. And just going to click next. You can customize it the way you want. You can have 1080p, if you know the actual revolution, or it's 1280 by 720, which is 720p. And that is still very good for YouTube video. Um, perfectly good. It's still in HD. Sometimes it's still classed as HD. So it's 1080p or 1080pi, okay? But this will work for any capture card you have because I use it for my easy capture before and I made it way much more better. It works better if you have a HD capture card like an HP VR or a neighbor media game capture. So basically, and it also works for PC games and Game Boy Advance games, which I do on my channel. So what you want to do, you want to click next. Um, you can ignore all this sound. You can include the watermark feed feature but don't really have to click finish and then you have it that's that's basically your test done there that's my YouTube HD that I use it's exactly the same but I choose screen capture 2 and this one for the video codec so if you want to change it you can go to edit it click next again automatic do the video compression and just choose that. So that's it all there, and it is exactly the same as my other one now. Um, but it doesn't really matter which one you use; it will still come out basically the same. So I hope that you like this one. Please comment, rate. Or, well, hold on. Uh -huh. I'll choose that one. Believe me, you want to click back onto that one and it will be saved there for future references so please comment rate and subscribe and if you like this video and you want to see more I will bring more videos if you have a question or you struggle on Camtasia Studio 8 please feel free to leave a comment on the video and I will get back to you and do a video on it when I get time and I will post it on my channel I hope you like this one see you next time on my next videos Luigi here signing out